what do we do here? <laughs> well, this is one of the best places to eat here, here at NCTU. <laughs> It's, a, it's called Tab, and uh, for uh, each uh, Wednesday and Thursday we order curry, which is excellent. And here it is. <laughs> Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. I really like the temperature here. It's much warmer than in Sweden, which is pretty nice. And uh, I would also say it's very nice that you can buy food all, all the time outside and like you don't have to make any food at home because it's much cheaper to just buy it. And uh, then I also like that the people are so friendly. They help you with everything and there's like only a slightly tiny problem with the language. but. Uh, I like with Taiwan that the possibilities to uh, travel around is endless. It's very easy to travel around. From uh, north to south you have the high speed rail taking about two hours, which makes it very convenient. So yeah, and uh, I also like that you always have the possibility to go out and buy tea, because there's teas, tea shops in basically every corner. And uh, yeah, those are probably my top two. Uh, the most annoying thing about Taiwan is their traffic. It's crazy, there's scooter everywhere and you can't even like cross the road on the crossings because they're gonna hit you. And uh, they also drive at, at the sidewalk, so when you come, if you do like running and stuff, if you go running on the sidewalk and then the, it comes a scooter like straight towards you, yeah, it's crazy. And also Marcus is really scary when he drives his scooter, he has hit me several times. Uh, I'm quite certain that most of the other Swedes and probably all the other uh, foreign students uh, won't agree with me on this one, but uh, I'm quite picky with food, so here in Taiwan it's been sometimes quite hard to uh, find food that you like, since uh, I like European food a bit more than uh, the traditional Taiwanese food. but. I managed to get around and uh, I found some uh, really good uh, Taiwanese food, uh, food spots. Uh, classes at, at NCTU are generally smaller, uh, which means there are more interactions between the teachers and the pupils, and that's uh, another type of experience. Uh, we also have a lot more presentations uh, in courses. Uh, which enhance our, uh, our presentation skills. Uh, I think the main difference is that classes are smaller and there are more interactions with the professor. And also that in the beginning you can try many different classes and then you choose more classes at the same time than at uh, yeah. But you study them for one whole semester. I like uh, keep, keeping active, uh, so I've actually joined the, the swimming team at, at NCTU. Uh, so I do that twice a week, and, and in addition to that, I do other types of exercising like running and going to the gym, uh, and generally like, explore like the, the surrounding area. Uh, and uh, I've also done quite a bit of traveling, both inside Taiwan and uh, outside in, in East and Southeast Asia, uh, to both experience experience different cultures, but also to uh, enjoy holidays also. Uh, during the weekdays so you should try to stay active uh, by going to the gym and going around taking walks in the city in Shinshu. Uh, but uh, on the weekends I try to uh, experience as much of Taiwan as possible. Uh, meaning traveling around from everything to Taipei to down south. I think I actually it's kind of what I expected, uh, so I was quite prepared. I brought a lot of licorice. Um, I could have brought some more warm clothes because winter was much colder than I thought it would be. Um, but otherwise, like it's it's what I expected, but better, I guess. Um, 
the the main part which surprised me of course was um, that there are no architecture classes in English which um, was a problem in the beginning but um, I kind of got help from the teachers and other students so that I can kind of join the Chinese classes anyway so it works out well everyone's were really helpful so yeah I, I just wish I brought maybe maybe even more liquid <laughs> One major thing that I wish I knew before I came here uh, is a little bit more about the cultural differences when you speak to people. Uh, that the Scandinavian culture is very direct compared to here, and that is something to think of. For example, if you invite someone to an event, they can say maybe, but it really means no, uh, because it would be kind of quite impolite to just say no directly. So that's something that I would like to think about. Okay. Uh, some warm clothes would be good to bring for the winter time. It could be quite chilly. Insight and also bring some jackets and also to bring some sunscreen for the warmer months so there's no whitener in them. Yeah, I would. Um, life here is very nice. I like hanging out on campus, I like traveling Taiwan as a whole. It's a very um, nice country to live in. It's both very modern, but then there are some traditional factors as well. People are very helpful. Um, it's fun to learn Chinese as well. Uh, it's very hard but it's fun like from knowing nothing in the beginning and now kind of starting to be able to communicate with others in Chinese. It's very it's very fun. So yeah I would say go here. Uh, yeah mainly because of two reasons. Firstly Taiwan is a great hub for traveling Asia. I think we've been to about 10 different countries during this exchange and uh, it's great fun to see other parts of Asia as well as Taiwan and uh, secondly Taiwan is apparently good at fighting a pandemic so wash your hands kids <laughs> <laughs>